The Jewish New Year starts at sunset this Friday, the first of several festivals in the coming weeks. Now, security will be stepped up at synagogues and community centers in many parts of the globe. The Anti-Defamation League says since mid-July, at least 49 synagogues in 13 states have received threatening calls. Our senior U.S. correspondent Mike Wagenheim spoke to Samantha Vinograd, the Assistant Secretary for Counterterrorism and Threat Prevention at the Department of Homeland Security about the government's plans to protect Jewish institutions in the U.S. Let's take a look. High holidays are coming up rapidly here. Obviously a time of you know, great uh, uh, joy at times, great uh, solemnity at times, but also great concern at times for the safety of the uh, Jewish community here in the U.S. As far as the federal government is concerned, what type of action plan is in effect here to make sure that the uh, terror attacks against the uh, the Jewish community are, are, are taken care of and are prevented? Michael, first off, thank you so much for having me to talk about this critical issue, namely the protection of places of worship and the protection of minorities, including religious minorities. As a proud member of the Jewish community, I am very excited to celebrate the new year this weekend in Yom Kippur, a few days later. And from a professional perspective, I can tell you that the federal government working in close concert with our colleagues at the state, local, tribal, and territorial levels, not to mention with foreign partners around the world, is taking every step possible to ensure that members of the Jewish community are able to observe the high holiday, high holy days safely. That includes reviewing all available intelligence to detect any threat at the, the earliest possible stage, as well as engaging in, in enhanced information sharing to ensure that our partners all across the country, including appropriate officials within the faith-based community, have access to the latest and greatest and most relevant information to keep their communities safe. We also invest heavily in working with members of the faith-based community on physical security protection in addition to getting the information they need to stay safe. That includes a range of great grant programs that we have that may be used to do things like hardened facilities to ensure that if an attacker is present or approaching a facility, there are additional precautions in place. And finally, we have a host of resources that we have developed and spread across the country to help train security professionals and other members of the faith-based community on what to do if a situation does unfold. But again, our goal is to prevent that kind of attack from ever happening. No member of any community should be worried when they go to observe their faith, and we're doing everything to make that a reality.